I want to get to a video of Democratic House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries absolutely obliterating an argument that was made by Republican congressmen and potential vice presidential running mate with Trump, one of the people on the shortlist, Byron Donald. And I should say, this is too, this is too celebratory for this topic. So we're going to put that there. But happy Pride Month, everybody. Uh, so, oh, let's do that. There we go. So the reporting that I want to read to you here breaks down the remarks that Byron Donald's made that have made the news for good reason. Then I'll show you again Democrat King Jeffries ripping this to shreds. So Washington Post reports, represented Byron Donald's campaign Tuesday for former President Donald Trump, argued black families were stronger during the Jim Crow era drawing vocal condemnation from Democrats, including House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries. Donald, who has been mentioned as a possible running mate for Trump, made the comments at a Trump campaign event in Philadelphia with Representative Wesley Hunt that was aimed at black voters. Donald uh, and Hunt are both black. The Philadelphia Inquirer quoted Donald as saying he was beginning to see the reinvigoration of black family in America, and suggesting that black family values have uh, had been in decline since black voters embraced the Democratic Party after the civil rights movement. And then here's the key quote, then I'll shift over to this video of Hakeem Jeffries. Quote, you see, during Jim Crow, the black family was together. During Jim Crow, more black people were not just conservative. Black people have always been conservative-minded, but more black people voted conservatively. And then H-E-W, Lyndon Johnson, you go down the road, and now we are where we are. Donald's appeared to refer to the former Federal Department of Health, Education, and Welfare, President Johnson's Great Society programs in the 1960s endeavored to end poverty and racial injustice in America. And before responding, it seems like such obvious pandering to the MAGA base, but before I respond, I'll let Hakeem Jeffries respond. Mr. Speaker, it has come to my attention that a so-called leader has made the factually inaccurate statement that black folks were better off during Jim Crow. That's an outlandish, outrageous, and out-of-pocket observation. We were not better off when a young boy named Emmett Till could be brutally murdered without consequence because of Jim Crow. We were not better off when black women could be sexually assaulted without consequence because of Jim Crow. We were not better off when people could be systematically lynched without consequence because of Jim Crow. We were not better off when children could be denied a high quality education without consequence because of Jim Crow. We were not better off when people could be denied the right to vote without consequence because of Jim Crow. How dare you make such an ignorant observation? You better check yourself before you wreck yourself. I yield back. So, of course, Hakeem Jeffries always nailing the delivery of messages, impactful, effective. And here's Clay Kane also saying, for Byron Donalds to say slash imply that the black family was stronger under Jim Crow is a Jim Crow lie. In 1959, the black poverty rate was 55.1%. Jim Crow was hell, not a golden era, which why black people, regardless if they were Democratic or Republic, a Republican, fought to end it. And you can see the significant drop in the poverty rate represented in the visual on screen. To me, also what I was observing there, separate from what people have accurately described as pandering, what Byron Donalds is playing into there is the whole MAGA mission statement, right? MAGA being make America great again. So we're no longer great, according to them. We need to go back. And when you ask MAGA folks, well, when, when are we trying to emulate? When was great? Some of them will say the 50s. And while I guess some people would consider that they were better off then or that people of their group was better off, were better off then, obviously America at large was not better off. And it's tapping into what I perceive to be this fake, phony, faux, call it whatever you like, nostalgia. A nostalgia based on a time that really never existed, again, for some people, but it really wasn't the story they're telling, especially here. And that is necessary in your messaging if you're leading a movement that's not about a vision for the future that is based on progress that could be made 
policies that could bring us forward. But instead, to them, the way forward is backward. And that relies on selling a version of events that's just not accurate about what things looked like back when they perceived things to be great, what the experience was like for so many Americans. Because they don't have a meaningful vision for what's ahead, they're trying to weaponize this visceral fake nostalgia. And we see it, interestingly enough, with the, this is different, but a similar rewriting of of history, very recent history in this case, the pandemic. Trump's trying to convince us that everything was great until Biden got into office. And that requires convincing people that they felt something, their experience was something that it wasn't when they were actually in those moments. But you can do that as we're seeing. You can convince people, you can induce collective amnesia, especially as it pertains to painful events. People sort of want to, they're primed to forget and want to have amnesia about very painful events because that's how you can not feel the pain as much. And on this, it reminded me of uh, Colin Cowherd who we talked about recently. Let me remind you of these clips from a Fox sports host. But, um, you know, I've, I've said this about Trump before. He's trying to sell me an America that doesn't exist. Mm. He startled me. Goodness gracious. I guess since you're here now, I'll ask that you subscribe to the YouTube channel by clicking that subscribe button if you want to help us continue to grow. Like I'm 60. I don't remember anything before like six or seven years old. And let me actually jump over to uh, this one. Stadium's full. Leads Major League Baseball in attendance. Laker games are full. Uh, NFL games are full. People's got, they have money in their pocket. LAX is packed. I just saw a record airline uh, revenue over the weekend. I I'm, I'm constantly being sold in America by Donald Trump. Uh, crime rates are skyrocketing. No, they're actually not. Starting in 2023, they have plummeted coast to coast over 200 cities. Violent crime rates are down. I mean, Los Angeles and some cities uh, may tick up in certain areas, but it's in America. He's selling me. It would be like watching your football team and they play well and win. And your neighbor says they're playing terribly and keep losing. No, they're winning and they're not playing terribly. Like you can't keep selling me on how bad the country I live in is because it's. So a different take, but again, it's that selling of an America, past and present, that's not accurate. And trying to convince people the progress we've made, we should get rid of. And where we came from was actually better than it was. And that's something we really have to push back against because it's necessary. It's dishonest, but it's, it's necessary for the furtherance of the MAGA movement, for people to buy into these fake stories that are being told about the past and thus convincing them to want something different than what we should want for the future, which is making more progress. He said people have money in the pocket. Obviously, some people might be upset by that because it sounds like he's saying things are better than they are. That's not the point. The point is that we want to keep addressing issues, keep minimizing pain. But to pretend the way we do that is going back, undoing the progress we've made and fantasizing about times that never existed uh, that's wrong. And that's not the way that we're going to uh, address issues. Let me know what you thought of that in the comments. And if you want to get the daily bonus show, you can do so by clicking the join button below.